for joining us here on Geek Tech Industries live stream. Stick is here. Valley here. We're coming at you with our still as yet untitled vodcast podcast chat at you for a little while thing. I don't know what to call it yet. Now complete with licorice. Complete with a big bag of nibs. That really was what we needed to make this battle station fully operational. That's right. A power supply. That's right. Mm -hmm. This, my friends, is more powerful than Kyber. See that there? <laughs> That's no moon. <laughs> That's nibs. That's no small moon. Uh. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, everybody. So, um, before we get uh, too deep, I do want to say thank you to all of our Patreon subscribers. Uh, you guys are freaking awesome. And because you guys are awesome, I got some of these made up for us. I don't know if you guys can... I can't see it super well from here, and it's probably shiny now. There you go. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that is an alt art gunner cart. There you go. Tilted a bit. It's wave it around like you just don't care. Put it in the air. Whoop 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 whoop. So uh, yeah, you guys should get free lodging and admission. I wish. I wish. I'm working on it. I'm working <laughs> on it. Okay. Uh, but that card right there, uh, you guys who back us on Patreon, you are all going to get one of those cards. And if you come to the Mustache Open and you compete, will also get one of you those. You'll also be acquiring one of these cards. Right. Uh, Robert and or Jay, I I'll see what I can do. I'll reach out to you guys later. I'm sure we can make some sort of arrangement. Pray I don't alter the arrangement further. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, Cryptomeria, thanks for joining us. Your Vader Pixie. mask is up there. So. Oh shit! I'm sorry. <laughs> it's actually it's not even a mask. It's a toaster. Oh, perfect. Well, what did the toaster? What did that toaster say to me? Right? Yeah. So, um, the mustache open. The mustache open. It was a go. And then it was a bust. And now it's a go again. And then it was a go again. It was, it was a go again within like 24 hours. Oh, man. Let, you less, guys were on that. Less than two days after the demise of, of Landacy, we had a venue lined up. We were nailing down dates. The stuff was happening. It was great to see. It was yeah. great to see. Um, there was a lot a... of great work from a lot of great nerds. Thank you to the rest of uh, the folks building Warriors Weekend. Yep. I'll talk about that in a second. Tentative original name, Tossed. Warriors Weekend is now what it's called. Yeah, Warriors yep. Weekend. I liked ArmorCon, but apparently it overlapped with a uh, another convention in the UK yeah. that was for folks that refurbished tanks. Well, that makes sense. Right. It would also make sense if it was about medieval armor, you know, yeah. full plate and all that. But, you know, Warriors Weekend makes perfect sense, given the charity that all proceeds will be going to in order to support will That's be true. to the Wounded Warriors. Wounded Warriors Canada. Check it out on online. I think it's woundedwarriors.ca. Uh, we'll have that in the description in the video after. At some point. Uh, at some point. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, so it is April 7th and 8th here in Victoria. Uh, at the uh, Bay Street Armory. Bay Street Armory! Yep. So we, we even have a little piece of Victoria history to play in it. Basically, we, we have a castle. Yes. We're playing in a castle. One of several castles that are located here in Victoria. Yeah. And we're going to play in it. Yeah. Jay, I don't think I don't think we want to wrap you in bubble wrap, dude. That just sounds like a bad trip, <laughs> a bad time all the way here. I don't I don't think they uh, gives you the little bags of peanuts on those FedEx planes. <laughs> so. No, I don't think no. so. I don't think so. Yep. So we have uh, a, besides the gunner card that everybody's gonna get for uh, coming to compete, we have uh, templates. Uh, so there's a custom set of templates that. Uh, um, we have uh, available uh, for first place. Uh, tickets will be $40 for the weekend, and we'll cover your entry to the board game library uh, and various other demos that are going to be happening there as well. It is not just X-Wing. It is also War Machine, Hordes, 40K, a board game library, Battletech demos. Um, man, you name it. If it's if it's uh, RPGs, table uh, tabletop of all sorts is going to be there. One cost general admission, full weekend, all access pass. Uh, a regular, basically. a regular pass, I believe, is thirty dollars for the weekend. The tabletop passes um, are slightly different cost. Go check it out, uh, warhorn.com slash events slash warriors weekend. Go to Warhorn and in the search type warriors weekend and uh, pick your ticket and go from there. 
links again to be found in the description in the description below. below. We'll, Eventually, we'll put that in there. We were ha we were having some geek technical difficulties, if uh, you hadn't noticed. Um, also tonight, our first ever live stream on Facebook. So if anybody's out there in Facebook land watching as well, um, hi. We can't see your chat, but hi. Go, go to YouTube and watch us there, and you can be a part of the conversation. Hi, Madman. Um, uh, whatever you said there was blanked out, so I'm going to assume it was probably a curse word of some sort. How profane. Oh, my God. Um, let's see here. What else do we have to cover? Oh, um, uh, later on, I will have a, uh, a link to the event page and a map of uh, how to get there. Uh, but I don't have those up right now, thanks to some geek technical difficulties. Um, par for the course. Par for the course, you betcha. Uh, other things to announce. Tuesdays, if you're interested, we have uh, an art stream with Sheeny. Uh, so our artist in residence uh, streams for uh, approximately two hours with a little brownie break in between, uh, doing a little warm up and then doing some geek tech art. Uh, so the last time she um, did, uh, I can't even remember what she did for the warm up. It was something ridiculous. I have to admit I wasn't watching. I'm sorry. That's fine. I forgive you. Um, and then for the uh, actual uh, drawing portion of it, she uh, did a bunch of uh, stuff on a new version of Sarge, a, a sharper, sort of more defined version of Sarge for our logo. So if you want to see that stuff take shape, tune in Tuesdays, 8 p.m. We'll have the archive up at times four speed with some classical music in the background <laughs> for you guys to watch and uh, sort of watch the magic happen. Takes that two-hour stream and reduces it to about 20 minutes, half an hour. And uh, it's kind of neat to watch uh, uh, the painting happen at that speed. Super fast. Oh, yeah, it's kind of neat. Um, other stuff. Uh, Zealot is going to be online really, really soon with uh, the, his, the new season of uh, his Iron Man videos for Empyrean. Uh, if you guys haven't been watching those, they are great. They're a little long compared to some of the other guys, but that's because he doesn't cut out any of his dirt. Uh, and God, are they filled with dirt. He has done very, very well for himself, where a lot of folks have been eliminated the last season. Uh, he, not even as a competitor, came through and did a bunch of things that people just weren't expecting and blasted through all of the challenges, and like we expected. This season, he's actually going to be officially on the board. That's right. This season, he will be an official competitor, so... It's, uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. He did some things, actually, in the last season as an unofficial competitor that they looked at and went, whoa, we're going to have to change some of the rules to keep people from using uh, different exploits in the game to, uh, to uh, their own advantage. Yeah. Uh, apparently, he had some uh, interesting gadgets that he built. Um, SVs, for example, that were just like a corridor with the door at the end that uh, you could spawn and then use as cover in uh, long corridors and stuff. Ah. So clever, clever thinking. And uh, elevators, so like lo the long shafts for uh, some things. Yeah, you spawn in an elevator SV, and all it is is um, like a... a it just goes up and down it's just It's just a column with some jutty outy pieces inside, so you, you ladder back and forth inside. <laughs> so with a door at the bottom, so if there's shit down there, you're like, hold on, open the door. No, no, close the door, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. Yeah, very clever, very clever. Um, I know, Bally, you uh, are, have, now that your video card is back, Yeah, you got a new video card uh, to replace your dead one. I know yeah. you were talking about doing some uh, live stream and stuff. My poor dead card. Oh, what a story that is. Damn, that poor thing. I am, yeah. And what a time to die. Like, video cards are expensive as gold uh, right now. Absolute premium right now. Ooh, man. I bought the same card that my wife has had for a while now. Mm -hmm. at the same price that you bought your current card yeah i know and your card is the next generation of the same i know i i yeah. lucked out i bought a 1050 ti uh four gig right before the big crypto boom and it was about two i think it was 200 and a chunk mm -hmm. it was a quite reasonable pl uh, price for the for what we got for it i paid 280 for or 250 yeah for a 962 gig. Yeah. And the card that I bought now goes for close to $600 yeah. to $700 online. Ridiculous. I was like, what? So, 
Yeah, it's weird. If, if you're not aware, suddenly video cards are for, for PC gaming are brutally, brutally expensive. Incredibly expensive. Um, thanks to uh, crypto coin mining like Bitcoin. Not Bitcoin itself, because Bitcoin actually requires very specialized hardware now to mine. Uh, it's re kind of ridiculous. But other coins that can be then traded for Bitcoin. If, you're, if, if I could go down a whole rabbit hole, I'm not going to. It's a horrible, horrible place to be. If you want to go down it yourself, cryptocurrency, just Google it. Mm -hmm. And very good, some, some very good explainers here on YouTube. And be ready to lose like a good majority of your night. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, it's gone. Uh huh. So, uh, oh, there was one more thing. Oh yeah, so wave fourteen. Oh my God, wave fourteen. Um, that U wing and that X wing. Mm -hmm. I want that so bad. I want those titles. I, I ah, give it to me. Oh. <laughs> it just looks so good. Um, um, yeah. I know. I'm very happy that they're bringing titles to the T65. Yep. Uh, what do you guys think? Tell, tell us in the chat. Um, have you guys thought about um, what things you might build with these with these new partisan ships? Uh, Saw with Nora, uh, I hear, has been going around, which... Which is a thing. So honestly, I think that's going to be fantastic. Regen Nora with Saw turning out the extra focus or giving her up the extra focus result. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was already great with Finn. Now it's just going to get cheaper and more effective with Saw. Oh. Kind of redonkulous. I can't wait. Like, uh, ah. mm -hmm. um, the titles. The titles for the T sixty five, I think, are going to be where it's at. Um, now, is there more than one coming? I haven't seen any of the updated spoilers since maybe last week. No, I think it's just the one title in there. Yeah, Saw Nora, Saw Nora R two is is pretty much like screaming to happen. Um, I think it's just going to happen. It's just going to be the thing that you're going to see in your local meta coming all over the place. Um, the titles themselves. Oh man, where are they? I don't know if the titles themselves have been spoiled, uh, but other people have sort of pulled information out of them. Um, the targeting scrambler looks interesting. I'm more interested, honestly, in uh, having a bunch more useful X-Wings. The PS1 X-Wings, I need to know the cost on that. Because mm. that's going to tell me whether I need to buy two of this set or not. Because <laughs> I, I have four T65 X-Wings. And I would love to be able to field all of them and another ship. I think that would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, that, like, if that title reduces cost, that with R2 Astromech and integrated, and you're oh, rolling, you're, mean, you're yeah. golden, man. And yeah. you're going to have this little uh, 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 X-Wing swarm, mini swarm, flying along and just tearing apart everything in front of you. Um, you I think hope. it'll, well, I hope so. The three dice primary with a swarm is nothing to sneeze at. TIE Swarms are scary with two dice. Mm -hmm. So imagine an X-Wing Swarm, right? I mean, admittedly, yes, you do have to survive to do that damage <laughs> at that pilot skill. Exactly. And with Harpoons lately... That could be tricky. That could be very tricky. Harpoons are... Uh, something you constantly have to be aware of. And you want to stay close sometimes to maximize your arcs of fire. But you don't want to get close because somebody's going to splash up that Harpoon and you're not going to like it. No. Unless you have a harpoon and you're charging into the middle of an enemy uh, swarm of yourself. Really? Totally. I think that is the best uh, best thing to do. If you are harpooned, get in your opponent's face and force him to kill you. Oh, yeah. You know, like it's a free dead man switch in some cases. And uh, can be used as such, and I've seen it used that way really nicely. So Accidentally or on purpose? Uh, mostly, for me, it's accidentally because I never think... I'm like, yeah, get in there, kill it! Oh, he was harpoon. <laughs> Whoops. All right, well, I'm going to die now. <laughs> As I take splash damage and damage. Yeah. Um, and then, oh, man, uh, I don't know whether the TIE Reaper is simply just going to be used as a new palp shuttle or whether even that... I think it might actually, it might be ignored as a palp shuttle even though, because of its uh, low hit points and evade dice. Mm. Uh, 
Uh, admittedly, sure. It's a TIE fighter. Be too easy to go down carrying such a valuable well, pop on board. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's got jam, it's got focus, it's got evade, so at least, you know, you got something going on. I like the idea that you can just as jam action. Boom. Um, they had the jamming beam previously, and they've had the scrambler torpedoes, or scrambler missiles, I should say, that do the jam. Um, but it's nice to see a small ship now with the jam action, where I like how they're taking a bunch of the stuff that was interesting in Epic, but because nobody really plays Epic, they're bringing it into regular play. Yeah. So yeah, I would like love to see... the reinforce and the yeah. um, coordinate. And, yeah. yeah. I'd love to see them redo the decimator as with some of the large ship rules where, where um, it has, say, a more limited dial but has, like, energy and hard points and stuff. And you can put... Um, like turrets and uh, other uh, ordnance on it, make it expensive, give it maybe a little little bit more hit points, like a refit of some sort. I think that would be really interesting for uh, some of the more thematic play. Decimator isn't already expensive enough for you. No, double its cost. I want a single decimator in a list. Damn it, seventy-five point decimator. Here we go. <laughs> with an academy tie. Yep. There we go. Done. <laughs> No, oh, you can fit two. Yeah. You can do a pair of academies with that. True, true, you good. Go. A pair of academies, good God. Oh, man. Um, I, <laughs> I'm actually really excited to see the optimized prototype. Um, it's the thing that uh, Krennic does. So, of course, Krennic, if you're not aware, is the villain from Rogue One. Uh, don't choke on your aspirations, director. Best double puns, double puns, man. Yeah. Uh, so uh, <laughs> during setup, before the place forces step, assign uh, the optimized prototype condition to a friendly galactic empire ship with three or fewer shields. Now, interesting distinction. It didn't say imperial ship, galactic empire. Yeah. Which means no FOs, no SF. Yeah. No silencer, no upsilon. Yeah. None of that shenanigans. Only Galactic Empire, which means Phantom. Mm, that could be good. So the optimized prototype condition says once per round, when performing a primary weapon attack, you may spend one die result to remove one shield from the defender. So I look at this with, uh, say, uh, Whisper with Gunner and this on it. You roll... Oh, is that a you hit? You have one hit result. You discard it to remove a shield from them. It's now a missed yeah. hit. You re-roll your attack. Well, you... You get your fire control system out of the deal. Exactly. Fire control, target lock, gunner. So you stripped a shield on the first one, guaranteed at least, Yeah. with with the optimized prototype. Um, then you shoot again with your modded shot with gunner, and hopefully either strip a bunch more shields... Or just blast Or them. blast the hell out of them. So if it's a scum ship... You probably blast the hell out of it. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, should be interesting. I like the idea of that. I do love me some Empire ships. I like flying them a lot. They get blown up a lot. But they I do, do enjoy those. They're so much fun. Yes. Exactly. Um, actually, Robert, I don't think there is going to be a scum ship uh, with this set. I think they're like, scum's had enough. Um, you you brought harpoons in. You've done enough uh, harm to the meta. Let's uh, uh, let the other two factions ruin it for a while. So. I, know, I think Scum would deserve something, though. I mean, they've, oh, given, they've given reinforce to both Empire and Rebel. Scum is also the only faction with illicit. Okay, not true. No, Certain not true. Rebel ships can get illicit, but only through specialized means. Yes. Tons of Scum ships have illicit. Yes. But there's only so many illicit mods. Yeah, but all of them are shenanigans. Yes, they're good. Hmm. Some more so than others. I, I would expect see. in the next wave we're going to see some scum stuff um, and maybe some other, uh, like a, uh, another uh, rubble small ship. I think I think in the next wave we're going to see that three ship set. I mean, this last wave was a double wave, which is why our wallets are still crying <laughs> over it. That's true. Because, man. I, I still don't own all of it. You know what? I... I still don't yeah, know like enough a, of all of I got it. a long way to go on that still. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Otaku uh, Takabul says, uh, want to put it on Countdown? Countdown with engine upgrade now has six health 
and strips a shield with uh, every health. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. Ugh. You may spend one die result. Oh my god. You don't even have to hit. You just annoy the hell out of everyone for the entire game. Ugh. Yeah. Mm. You're speaking directly like to that. me there, Otaku. I love me some countdown. Um, that worked nicely with uh, Sabak as well, because you get the extra die. Yeah. Oh, is that a blank? I'll spend that. God, that would be brutal. I so can't it just wait to says do that. spend one die result. Spend a die result, yeah. So anything. Just remove a die from the your roll. You roll three blanks. Oh, look, that blank counts as a spend. die result. Yeah, blanks are dice results. And to spend it, you simply remove it from the board and put it aside as yeah. if it was canceled. Wow. Yeah. I, uh... Oh yes, uh, Otaku meant hull upgrade, not engine upgrade. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you give countdown in, uh, hull upgrade and this, and just watch your opponent scream. Profit. Scream. Profit. Yeah. Profit. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Yeah. That's beautiful. Well, and it and it looks like the the Reaper is going to be really cheap as well, uh, and you get a couple of interesting um, stuff. There's a unique small ship only. I don't know what that is. Malta something or other. Mm, multi phase of camouflage maybe. I bet you that's it. I bet you that's going to increase your defense in some way. Looks like decoy on there. Tactical officer and ISB. Hmm, something crew of some sort oh man i can't wait to see the dials on these things <laughs> i really can't that's gonna tell me whether or not i have to buy two of the reaper i already know i'm gonna have to buy two of the uh um save the dream set with the uh the what is that saws renegades yeah saws renegades yeah well you say you have to buy two Wait until you crack open what's in one before That's you... true. It looks like they're giving might, you, you know, five titles. A so. lot of the time they've been doing that, giving out two or three titles with the set. You know, you buy the some of the epic ships. You know, look at the Raider. Sea all Rock. the stuff that you, that you get for uh, TIE Advanced. Yeah, you get the Sea like, Rock with the uh, um, uh, Psych. Light Psychs, stuff. you get yep. six of them. Yep, yep. Six. Only comes with one. You get six titles. And honestly... So who knows? I, I mean, it might come with more. I don't know anybody in person that actually owns that many Psykes. Look at the... Uh, <laughs> you know, look I'd, at, I'd have to pull a bunch from other people other, to, to fly Yeah, that. your friends. Yeah. yeah, Mikey might. Does Mikey have... Oh, jeez. I think he's only got four. Yeah. I'll have to check with him. Mikey might actually have six. He, he flies so exclusively scum. Yeah, like he buys other so, sets and then gets rid of them because that. Oh, it's not scum. I don't. Or he that. specifically trades from other people or buys from other people if yeah. they have spare cards because yeah. he just doesn't want to waste his money on rebel or. Which really is a great way to subsidize the game. Yeah. yeah. Go splits on a set or buy a set and sell the other stuff off for like half cost or whatever. Yeah. Uh, lots of people doing that on eBay. Also, think about. Um, the most wanted set when that mm. came out it also had you know alternate pilot cards for the fire spray to That's somebody right. turn it into scum it didn't even come with a fire spray on board nope. so you don't know what's going to come out of that set until it actually releases that is true that is very true so I'm, I'm really long story short that boat cannot get here fast enough I wish <laughs> that it's fastest move wasn't a red one forward yeah so <laughs> bloody freighters yep it's got two. People it's got two mo two maneuvers. Forward one. Bank one. Bank the other way one. All red. And a green stop. And that's it. Goddamn FFG boat. Too many gate campers on the corridor out. Yeah. They don't want to go through low sex. they got to go around the long way. Oh, my God. I was wondering how long it would take to work in an Eve reference. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Not going back. Don't worry. You know what? I, I looked it's at still it. Still fun to I was tempted. I went, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. You went free to play? Trolls. I'm out. It was, yeah. uh, trolls were already bad enough. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's you know, grief. That was half the fun. Griefing was the name of the game. <laughs> I'm, I actually Griefing was actually a legitimate play style in that game. I had fallen out of Eve by the time you guys went pirate, so. Uh, yeah, maybe that's true. 
Yeah. You didn't really get into it very hard. No. Nope. You played it a bit. I played about six months or so. And I really enjoyed the six months I spent, but then when it lapsed, I was like, yeah. I don't feel that burning desire to go grind up a bunch more risk. Yeah. So. We're, getting, we're getting way off topic. Yeah. That's, oh, enough that's, about fine. Eve. that's That's fine. enough about Eve. Yeah, I know. No, you yeah. know what? I don't mind getting off topic. Let's just be honest. That's enough about Eve. Yeah. I made the mistake of bringing it up. Now I'm going to make the. Hey! The Tally's to here! Bury it. Yeah, burying it. Yep. I've been burying all the MMOs of my past. Yeah. I'm done with them. So. You're planning to stream again soon. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of games are you going to do? Everything! No, that's not true. I don't play sports games. No, that's not true. I play Rocket League. It's not a sports game. Yes, it is. It's car soccer. It's not really a sports game. It's like NASCAR meets <laughs> soccer meets <laughs> cartoons meets basketball. <laughs> it's a little bit of all three, in my opinion. But There's a hockey mode. Yeah, there There's is. a basketball mode. That's true. Oh, God. There's crazy-ass drop shot, which I don't even want to get into. All right, fine. 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 That's your exception sports game. Sports game. They have an eSports league. Come on. Yeah, league of Legends is in an eSports league. That doesn't mean it's a sport. No, well, it's an eSport. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so yeah, a little bit of everything. So that, yeah, all sorts of stuff. <laughs> Mech Warrior. Yeah. Hots. Stompy Robots. Hots. Played Hots again last night for the first time in like a year with mm -hmm. Valley. Mm -hmm. I suck bad. I, I, suck I have bad. to. Admittedly, I have to agree with you. Yeah. You were getting back into it though. By the yeah, time towards the end of the second, second match, second I was like, there. "Oh yeah, these are where the buttons are." That's how you attack the <laughs> enemy without just walking into him. Great. Well, I'm used to playing ranged assassins mostly, uh -huh. and so when I was like, "Yeah, Diva, that looks fun." Yeah, I didn't realize she's got a really short range for a gun. She can't just, like, she's sit a tank. back. And, yeah, I know. I didn't realize that. And so I'm like, why are you rushing into combat? Stop it. <laughs> no, no, that's what you want to do. That's her role. Get in there. Yeah. Get in there. Yeah, so stuff like, all well, all sorts of stuff. I'm also really partial to platformers. Mm -hmm. I, uh, oh, I, I would love to see you stream some Cuphead, my friend. I have already streamed the entirety of Cuphead. Oh. I will do another run-through. I haven't completely, like, <laughs> super cleared it. You know, you can go to 200% on that game by oh, getting, thanks. like, mastery oh, of every of stage everything. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But just generically beating the game is the 100%. Then you gain the ability to start mastering them because mm. all the hard mode levels New game there. plus! No, just yep. continue on the same file, but now you can access hard mode on all the stages. And... Oh, you can go back and replay stages. Yeah. Oh. And there's also pacifist runs and... Oh, shoot nothing, get to the yeah. end. Oh. Beat this, beat this, it's the running gun stage. Like, Cuphead is, it's a platformer, but really it's kind of like a fighting game. But also bullet hell. There are only six levels that are, like, Mario-esque, running through a level, run, <coughs> jump, fight little enemies, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Every other stage of the game is just straight up a boss fight. Like, cut to the chase, let's fight. You want to nice. go? Bam, boss fight. And they are, some are brutal. Brutal. Some are incredibly brutal. <laughs> Ironically, the final boss is a lot easier than the second to last boss. It took me forever to beat the second to last boss, and I beat the final boss in about ten minutes. A couple retries wasn't wow. too bad. I was like what? What is going on here? But yeah, no. It's, what is this? Final Fantasy? Like <laughs> it's an inc it's an incredibly difficult and fantastic game. Anyone uh, who is a fan of old Walt Disney cartoons. Mm, um, the, what do they call it? Tube and ho uh, ball and hose type animation? Yeah, something um, like that. 1930s, 1940s? It's absolutely just fantastic. It, that's the animation style they do. Actually, I was reading a big thing on the background of why Cuphead looks so genuine mm -hmm. um, to that style of art while simultaneously running at 60 frames per second. And what they do is like this double imaging thing. I can't remember exactly where they are actually running the game at like 30 frames or okay. even slower. But then they double things up so it looks super crisp and smooth and runs at 60. But they're skipping some to make it look like traditional 30s. Oh, because really, as long as you get more than 25 frames a second. animation. As long as you get more than 25 frames a second out of your animation. Your eyes won't necessarily... I mean, they'll 
see better than that, but you don't need better than that. I don't remember the exact um, uh, facts on how it is, but yeah, it it looks like you're playing like Mickey Mouse versus the Plat Demons or something like that. You know, it know, just it looks it, like it's lifted yeah, from animation. You could. Yeah. It looks like seriously, you could walk around a corner and Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, and the gang would come up and be like, "Are you starting a fight in our neighborhood?" I don't like this. You know, like, it is what? so... They're not going to join your party Kingdom Hearts style? Come no, on. No, no, no. They already did that with Final Fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I'm also a big fan of um, Metroid and Castlevania classic games. Yeah. And nowadays, that is actually considered an entire genre. They call it Metroidvania, which is to denote games that are very... Classic, classic platformer classic, style. Classic Metroid or Castlevania platformer where... Screen by screen... Um, where you're, you have a gigantic play field, and you're doing little areas at a time. You do this little area, you get a power up here, and the power up allows you to gain access to this zone. Which takes you back over. Do here. this zone, you have to go back through that area to this spot, and there's these doors, da, 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 and you sort of gradually work your way around uh, the whole place. That, yeah, that totally Hollow sounds Knight. like Castlevania and Metroid. Back played through one. the same area over and over again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. played one called Hollow Knight a while mm. ago. I like that. I played that. It's fun. Yeah, that game is one of the best Metroidvania homage games I've played in forever. Ori and the Blind Forest, all sorts of other ones. Oh, like that's that. so such a beautiful game. Beautiful, short, not very difficult. No, um, but a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. So that nice. sort of stuff. Um, Do you have a day of the week that you might want to? Nope. Sit down. You're gonna be like, and it's love now. I'm too, I'm too random. <laughs> I know um, that's true. <laughs> I mean, as it is now, I don't have, I we haven't gotten me set up to stream directly to GTI, mm. and oh, although we right. can, mm -hmm. um, I don't know if we're going to. I think it's probably just as easy for me to continue to stream to my own Twitch, and then I can just upload the archives. True, the archives video from Twitch. Twitch. So yeah. keep your eyes peeled. We'll have uh, links to his Twitch um, in there as well. Uh, we also. Um, um, rebroadcast his Twitch like we were one it's of those. called auto hosting auto hosting thank you so if Bally's on you can watch it on um, twitch.tv slash ballista day or twitch.tv slash geek tech industries yeah so keep your eyes peeled go sub to either one of us to get notifications on that indeed go sub to both just because yep go do it now do it now the emperor compels you do it get to the chopper what? The chopper? The chopper, get to the chopper! The chopper doesn't want nothing to this. <laughs> <laughs> chopper says, I'm stressed, man. I'm taking an action and I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. So, um, I think <laughs> we're going to cut it here. I don't think there's anything else cut! Uh, I need, you didn't need cut. to discuss. You said cut. You didn't cut. I, no, I'm not cutting yet. You said cutting it here. No, not here. Here was back there. Here. Here? Here. Here? Here. Or there, here. There. Cause back there or no, ahead of us? Ahead there? of us. There. Wait. Ahead, ahead of us. Uh, ahead of us. Ahead of us. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ahead of us. Oh God. <laughs> so um, yeah, I think we're gonna cut the first part here, guys. Thanks again for joining us. Don't forget to go check out uh, Warriors Weekend. Uh, Facebook.com/slash Warriors Weekend. We'll have that in the description down below for part two. Uh, don't forget also to like and subscribe. Leave some comments. Let us know what you'd like us to talk about next time, so that uh, we can have more to talk about. I mean, we can ramble. We God, we can ramble. Ooh. Oh, yeah. But we don't want to ramble. We want to talk about topical things while we also sometimes ramble. Topical things like ointments and... Topical creams. If you keep putting it on, the water will go away. Uh, and we shall call this one Preparation H. <laughs> For Preparations A through G, we're total failures. <laughs> Well, thanks everybody for joining us. We'll see you guys on the mat in just a little while. We'll be back with a game soon. <laughs> God, hold on. I can't even switch to it yet. Oh, Are we still on? We're, we're still, still on? on. We're still here. We're still okay. Alive. Okay. So, puns. Puns. You mentioned a double pun earlier. The double pun. Yeah. Yeah. What is the worst of all puns? Yeah, Tally gave me the good pun earlier. What's the What's the pun? It was. Orion's belt is a complete waste of space. Oh. And then the response to that is, that joke is terrible. Only three stars. Oh. Oh, yeah.
I'm so sorry to have subjected you people to this. No, I'm not. Who am I kidding? <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you guys on the second half here on the mat. <laughs>